This is Film Masters. On this episode, we're doing Dormammu's voice from the Dark Dimension from Doctor Strange. It's going to sound like this. You can't do this forever. Actually, I can. This is how things are now. You and me trapped in this moment endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. Yes. But everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. We're gonna do this tutorial now in Adobe's audition, so let's jump straight into it. So we're in Adobe's audition now, and we're gonna be doing Dormammu's voice from the Dark Dimensions from Doctor Strange. So first of all, we're gonna go up to Waveform and select Waveform. I'm just gonna call this Dormammu. So for those who can't spell it, it's D-O-R-M-A-M-M-U. -M I'm going to leave all the other presets the same and select OK. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to say three lines from the movie. So from the Doctor Strange movie. And then we're going to save them. And then we're going to be making some alterations to get that voice that we're after. So one thing I always urge you guys, check out the movies. Look at what it is that you're wanting to record. Try and mimic it as close as possible. And it makes your job a lot easier when you're in the editing suite of Adobe Audition. And it makes your job a lot easier when you're in Adobe Audition playing around with the sound effects. So let's get into it. We're going to say the three lines. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. Now those three lines are used in the movie. One after the other talking to Doctor Strange. So let's do that. Now, one thing you'll notice in the movie is he has this sort of like a breathing effect, like when he's opening his mouth to say something. So we're going to say that in the very first sentence, only because that was picked up. Um, and then he finishes with dying and suffer by holding onto the G and the R a little bit. So I'm going to try and mimic it as close as possible and then using Adobe Audition, bring out that voice effect and really change it. So I'm going to come down here and press record. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying. But you will suffer. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of trimming first of all. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select it and drag across. Press delete. And I'm going to cut in here a little bit. So we've got more space in between. Here as well. And at the very end. Now that's going to allow us to apply the effect and hear it in real time closer together because we're going to be cutting this up into three parts anyway when we're putting it into the video. Um, I won't be putting it into the video in this tutorial. However, you can obviously do that yourself. But you'll see it in the tutorial how it's going to look when I've got it all synced up. So let's press play now and hear what we've recorded. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying. But you will suffer. Excellent. So I'm happy with that. Now, what we need to do, first of all, is go up to File, Save As. And I'm going to call this and leave it as a wave. So Dormammu number one. So I'm just going to call it Dormammu number one. Find a location where you want to save it. I'm going to just save this to my desktop. You can press Browse and find a different location if you'd like. And then select OK. And then when we've done that, we're going to go up to File, Save As once more and call it Dumamu 2 and select OK. Now what I've done is I've actually made two samples now of that waveform. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to multi-track now because we're going to do all our effects work into multi-track and I'm going to call this Dumamu Mix and leave everything else the same and select OK. So once I've done that, you'll notice I've got Dumamu 2 already saved up here. So I'm going to double click into the workspace, find my first file, which is Dumamu 1, and bring that in. So now I've got two files, so I can edit them at different times. Now the reason I did that is if I just had the one file and I copied it and pasted it, when you alter it in Adobe's Audition, it will change to both files because they're still the same file. So that's why I've changed it and called it two different names. So I'm going to put Damamu 1 at the very top and Damamu 2 onto track 2. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to do the effects of Damamu 1 
So I'm going to come onto the timeline and I'm going to double click on it. And when I've done that, it's going to automatically bring it into a waveform. So it's going to allow me to apply all the effects that I want to apply to this sound sample. And then we'll jump into the effect and do Damamu 2 there. So the very first effect we're going to do is we're going to go up to effects. And then I'm going to come down to time and pitch and select stretch and pitch. So by selecting that, it's going to allow us to make some alterations to the voice itself. Now let's go up to preset and what we're going to do is select lower pitch. Selecting lower pitch is going to allow us to lower the pitch. Now we're going to make some alterations in the stretch and pitch area now. And all we need to do is drop the semitones down to negative five. So we're going to select negative five or type in negative five there. And then I'm going to press play and see what it sounds like. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to select OK. And it's going to apply the stretch and pitch. So the next effect we're going to do is we're going to go to Effects. And we're going to go to Reverb and select Reverb. Now the next thing we're going to do is going to make some adjustments now to the presets. So with Decay Time, we're going to go to 500. And then with pre-delay time, we're going to select 200 and then we're going to come down to diffusion and select 50. Perception, we're going to change to 150 and then we're going to come down to dry, select 200 and then make wet 100. And once I've done that, I'm just going to press play and see what that sounds like. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. Excellent. I'm happy with that. I'm going to select apply now. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to go back to our multi-track and you can see that I've got the top Damamu one sound sample has got alterations. You can see that in the wave files and the second one hasn't been altered. So if I play them both together, it will sound like this. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move down to Damamu 2, and I'm gonna double select that. Now if I play this, it will sound exactly the same unaltered. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying. So that's our original sound file, and we're gonna make some alterations to that now. So I'm gonna go up to effects, and I'm going to come down to Reverb and select Convulsion Reverb. And we're going to make some alterations now to these presets. So first of all, let's go up to Presets. And I want you to find Unreal Chamber, which is at the very bottom, and select it. And then in the Impulse, we're going to select that, use the drop down. And what we're looking for is Endless Tunnel. And select Endless Tunnel. And we're going to go to Mix now, change that to 40%. Go to room size, change that to 14%. I'm going to leave damping LF as 10. Go to damping HF and change that to 29%. I'm going to change pre-delay. I'm going to grab the slider and move it all the way down to zero, leaving the width at 300. However, with the gain, I'm going to change that to seven. And when I press play, it's going to sound like this. You can't do this forever, then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. Now I'm happy with that, I'm going to select apply. The last effect is we're going to go up to effects, we're going to go down to filter and EQ and select graphic equalizer 10 bands, and we're going to make some finer alterations here. So all we want to do now is go up to presets, and there's a preset called rattle the truck, be careful, and I'm going to select that one. Now I'm going to press play and see what that sounds like. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying. But you will suffer. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to press apply. And now all I need to do is go back to multi-track. And we're going to listen to these two sound effects together now. So they're both synced together. So I'm just going to press play. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. 
Now that sounds really spot on. Um, there's two different things that we can do here. We can adjust the track volumes here and here. So if you're wanting to bump it down and fine tune it, so I'm just gonna quickly do a fine tune of the sound. So I'm gonna start off with track two first. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. So I'm gonna leave that at plus 4.2. So I've bumped up the sound and I'm gonna hear what track one sounds like now and see if we can make some alterations to that. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. You can't do this forever. Then you will spend eternity dying, but you will suffer. Excellent. So I'm going to leave that at plus 12. Now, obviously with your voice, these are the type of things that you'll need to listen in yourself and find the sweet spot that you're happy with making those minor adjustments. So once we've finished with this, instead of going to file save as, because if I was to do that, you'll notice it'll only save the actual audition file, but I'm going to save that anyway. I'm going to call that Damamu mix and just select okay and select yes and select yes and select yes. So it saved the different files with the alterations that we've made. So we no longer have the original clean file. Both those original files have now got the effects applied to it. But when we're in a multi-track, in order to make or render out the sound file, what we need to do is go up to file, export, and then we go down to multi-track mix down and the entire session. So what we're doing is we're saving the whole entire session. That's all the sound files. So if you're mixing up a huge mix, make it a song or make it some sort of R&B hip hop, maybe a bit of Justin Bieber. I do know that Grant Cook loves Justin Bieber a bit, but if that's the case, then you can mix it down and then save the sound file like so. Now this is saving out as an MP3. We can save it as a WAV file. So I'm going to save it as a WAV file. I'm happy with the file location. Everything else will leave the same and select OK. So once we've done that, we add all those steps up together and it's going to sound like this. You cannot do this forever. Actually, I can. This is how things are now. You and me trapped in this moment endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. Yes, but everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. You can't do this forever. Actually, I can. This is how things are now. You and me trapped in this moment endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. Yes, but everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. And that is how we do Dormammu's voice from the Marvel Universe, from the Dark Dimension himself, from Doctor Strange. If you want to become a Film Master subby, it is pretty simple. Subscribe to our channel. You can like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. If you want to keep up to date with all the uh, behind the scenes previews and see what's coming up next. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.